Welcome back GearFAX friends, the Roland C180, clearly a vintage keyboard and in many ways very limited, but I think you'll find it sounds very authentic. Check it out. So each of these buttons seems to add or subtract drawbar frequencies from your tone. Not your typical organ, but it does sound really good. Amazingly, for a machine of this apparent age, it has MIDI in and out. Let's give that a try. Okay, it's just died on me. Looks like the problem's the adapter, even though it's got the exact same spec, it has to be the original Roland or else it's not happy. The reason I didn't use this one originally is because it's cracked at the bottom, but we'll persevere. Yep, it was that non-original power pack that was the problem. It's obviously very sensitive. Let's isolate this sound from the reverb. stuff, let's try the record feature. Okay, operates exactly as it should, and pressing the organ brilliance button gives us a bunch of different sounds. undertone there. Sounds kind of cool. The 
piano has a muffled kind of post-apocalyptic feel to it that I really like. You can sub in two different basses. Demo. There are lots of demo tunes, you select a category and then choose one of the songs. So clearly the C180 is a keyboard for people who definitely want to play organ tones, specifically organ. It does have those other tones, but that's where it specializes. So if you're that kind of player, keep an eye out for one of these because I really enjoyed playing it. And the MIDI is a real bonus on top as well. Thanks for watching Gear Facts. See you next time.